There's a lot you can do with a mouse when using recording software, but the familiar feel of real hardware controls is, for many, difficult to replace. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Samplitude or Sequoia so that the plugins can be controlled using an external controller. This will then free you from the limitation of being able to change just one parameter at a time, as is true when using a mouse. In this example I'm going to show you how to map the 16 encoders of my Emu XBoard 61. I'm going to set up a hardware profile and then show you how to use a feature called Learn Hardware Controller. It will then be possible to tweak the controls of VST plugins and at the same time enjoy the tactile pleasure of using hardware. The information in this tutorial can be adapted to set up any controller keyboard for this kind of use. To begin with I'm going to press Y on the keyboard which opens the system options. Then I'm left clicking on the tab called Hardware Controller. At the moment this page is blank so I'm clicking on the button which says Add New. Now you can see a list of all the supported controllers which are pre-configured but in this case I'm clicking on an empty template. Now I'm left clicking on MIDI in. I'm choosing USB audio device which is the X board and the same with MIDI out USB audio device also. Of course the MIDI connections will depend on what controller you have. I'm changing the track count to 1. Under output select send echo. Leave internal mode set to Mackie Multitrack. Next thing to do is click on Save Setup As. So I'm going to save that as Export. Now I'm opening the Customize Controller tab. This is the page which will memorize the control data being transmitted from my export. I need to define the correct control, so click on Program Function and go to Mixer Tracks, Track VPOT. Then under slot 1 I need to tick Auto Increment. This means that one slot will be assigned to each encoder incrementally. Now I'm ready to learn the hardware controller. Turn the first encoder and you can see the data being transmitted. Then click on Learn. So now it's a matter of moving each encoder clicking learn and so on and so forth. As I learn each controller it's then added to the list. 6, 7, 8. That's the first row done. Now I'm working my way through the second row. Remember to move the encoder first and then press the learn button. That's the learning process completed. Now I'm going to work my way backwards and check them. Notice that for every knob I turn that the corresponding entry is highlighted. As I mentioned, each pot is assigned to a different slot, so we have a total of 16 slots, one for each controller knob. It's worth checking this just to make sure we don't have any problems later. They all appear to be assigned correctly. That's the controller setup finished. I'm going to click on OK to exit that window. Now I have a controller template based on the XBoard 61. The next thing I need to do is to use the function I mentioned earlier called Learn Hardware Controller. This will teach the controls of the ECOX delay to respond to the commands of the XBoard encoders. I'm going to assign the top 8 pots to control the left and right delay, the two filters, plus the drive, diffusion, stereo width and mix controls. Begin by left clicking to open the plugin menu, then select learn hardware controller. Now I'm left clicking on delay left and then moving the first encoder. So this has created a link between the hardware and software controls. I'm repeating the procedure with delay right, Learn Hardware Controller, then left click on Delay Right and move the knob. Next I want to assign the third knob to the Low Cut Filter. Go up to the plugin menu again and select Learn Hardware Controller. Left click on Low Cut Filter 
and move the knob to make the link. Next is High Cut Filter. Left click, that's good. Next is Drive. I'm sure you've got the idea by now. Same again for Diffusion. Left click, move the control to make the link. Next is Stereo Width. Learn Hardware Controller. Left click, move the control, that's working. Last but not least, Learn Hardware Controller. Left click on Mix, move the control and make the connection. A quick check to make sure they're all working. That's the drive. High cut. Low cut. Delay right. Delay left. So that's all good. Now I can tweak the controls of the Ecox delay using my X board. I'm going to close Ecox for now and on track 3 I have a Pro 53 loaded. I still have the bottom row of encoders free so I'm going to assign envelope, resonance and cutoff to the three encoders on the right. Same procedure as before, up to the plugin menu and select learn hardware controller. Left click on the control you want to learn and turn the hardware knob to make the connection. That's the filter cutoff connected. Next I'm learning the filter resonance and finally the filter envelope amount. Left click, turn the knob to make the connection. Now for some tweaking using the Pro 53. Controller mapping for those plugins will be saved with that project. If you want to assign the remaining encoders to the Pro 53 or maybe a new plugin, it's just a matter of going through the Learn Hardware Controller routine for the last five knobs. Be aware that if you open a new instance of the currently assigned plugins, that the mapping won't be transferred. It will only work with the original instances. So consider this technique as an ad hoc method for quickly controlling the plugin or plugins of choice at that moment. <laughs> 